like the being a vegetarian does not give you the right to be snooty or condescending, never turn it into some sort of intellectual, ideological snob like Clement Freud, Sigmund Freud's nephew. Look at this, he just goes around bothering working class people about their eating habits. He knows full well what they're going to do with this chicken. And he just decides to be all condescending, offering them different options. Oh dear, you're not very adventurous with a chicken, are you? What have you got in here? A breast of chicken. Do you know, if you took a breast of chicken and filled it with butter and chopped chives and rolled it around and then covered it in flour and beaten egg and breadcrumbs and deep fried it, yes. it would be a very beautiful dish. I think so, yeah. A very beautiful dish. Pick it up, swing it about, squeeze its tits, pinch its ass, <laughs> lie to it, promise it the world. Right? He knows full well that she's only got simple plans for that simple chicken. He puts her under so much pressure that she tells the truth in a stupidly elongated way. I, I think so, yeah. What are you going to do with it? Well, um, I'm going to take it back and uh, make sandwiches. <laughs> include take it back as part of the process of preparing a meal like it would say in a cookbook okay leave the shop okay <laughs> put the food on the table now all right eat it you idiot <laughs> look at freud's next victim this is heartbreaking because this woman is properly sweet lovely lady and she's got no idea how snooty and stuck up freud is being now, you've just bought some fish. Yes. What are you going to do with it? Well, I'm going to fry it, batter it and fry it, chips, peas. And are you going to have a lovely sauce with it? Oh, yes, HP. <laughs> oh, dear. You think that HP is a lovely sauce to you? <laughs> you snob! You stuck-up pig! 